Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, we're diving into a topic that can be a bit tricky for rooted and roid users, hiding root access from banking apps. It's important to remember that this method isn't a guaranteed fix for every device and ROM out there. However, it's worked wonders for me, letting me use my organization's company portal and Microsoft Teams without them detecting root. Now, before we jump in, there are a few things to keep in mind. This method involves modifying your system files. There's always a chance of something going wrong, so proceed with caution. It's a good idea to back up your device before attempting this. As I mentioned before, this might not work on every device or ROM. There are constantly evolving methods for apps to detect root, so this approach might not be foolproof forever. Now you will need from a JISC module, Hide My Root Module, Shamiko, Zygisk Next, Tricky Store, Hide My Root. This zip file requires the Shamiko module to function properly. It hides Majisk, making it appear like it's not even installed on your device. It spoofs various aspects of your device, including encryption status, ROM signature, and even Lineageo's properties if applicable. It can also clean up some exposed logs that might otherwise tip off apps about root access. Shemiko is a Majisk module that acts as the foundation for Hide My Root. It provides the necessary hooks and modifications to allow Hide My Root to function. Zygisk Next is the latest iteration of the Majisk framework, offering better security and additional functionalities. Once you've installed everything, there's a chance you might need to reboot your device for the changes to take effect. After the reboot, try launching your banking apps or any other applications that previously detected root. If everything went smoothly, they should now function normally without flagging your root access. Remember, this method might not be permanent. Banking apps and other software are constantly evolving their root detection methods. If you encounter issues or the method stops working at some point, you might need to try alternative approaches or wait for updated tools that can bypass the latest detection mechanisms. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you stay updated on my latest content. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below.